At least I see it. And the last thing we have to do here is Mr. Forlock, which is Hugh Vengus Pony Forlock. And this is a, just a regular French braid, an over the top French braid, which means a fish backed French braid. Okay. Got me? Take a little bit off the top. Okay. Hold it back. Divide straight down the center. Okay. Take the top. Two. Oops. Over. Hold this. Thumb, finger on the braid. Add a piece from the side. Turn it down. Finger on the braid. In between the thumb and forefinger. That's your basic French braiding technique. And you braid your tails and your reins exactly the same way. That way, as you're adding the hair, you can turn it down with your thumb. See, I'm turning it down. You turn it down with your full hand, not just your thumb. Because if you just use your thumb to do this work, it makes your hand too sore. Too much for just your thumb. So use your whole arm. Take nice straight cuts. Thank you. Turn it down. Finger in the brain. Yeah. Thank you very much for holding in. Sometimes it's very difficult to do a forelock on your own on a baby plow horse who hasn't been braided much. I left the Budweiser truck trailer at home. Then you just make a regular braid. Okay, if you didn't catch it before, yarn in the pinky. See how big that space is right up in between them? Once, twice. See how that one's turned to the inside already and positioned? Three. This one's already out, okay? All you have to do is pull this one in between these two around to the other side. Make sure there's no slack in it. Go over, okay? Make a pucker and pull it through. Snug. Once, twice. Latch up. Slides right through the top and meets your finger. Do not go through. You want to follow that pathway that you divided. That gives your hair a place to go. Okay, snug it up. One piece, wrap it around, pull it through once, twice. Figure eight, once, twice. Done. Okay. This and goodbye. It's all sunburnt, it's all orange. Nobody's going to miss it. Do a little trimming. That's fur, it's yucky. Okay. Looks so much better.